you feel dizzy, you suffer from dizziness, lift your head to get your sea legs back. So what you're gonna do is you're going to find this bone right here, bone right here on behind your ear. You're gonna go one inch back towards your neck, one inch back towards your neck, okay? You're gonna find, feel these little divots and they're on both sides. You're gonna use your thumb to push the divots up. Push the divots up, okay? And then hold it for 30 seconds, okay? Count to 30 seconds. This stimulates the nerves that directly go to the balance area of your brain. Now I'm talking about dizziness. I'm not talking about vertigo. I'm not talking about the room spinning, but this could help vertigo. I'm talking about you feel like you're on a cruise ship and you're just in balance, you're unstable. So you're gonna pull your head up Pull your head up to increase the blood circulation to the balance area of your brain, which is the back of your brain. And that will help alleviate some of the dizziness. Follow me here on Instagram. I came uh, to Yen acupuncture because I would like to um, have a baby or try and getting pregnant. Um, I came here, um, they all brightly and make you feel comfortable. I started the treatment. And um, the thing I like, they review your treatment once a week or 10 days. Uh, at the time, they found my, my problem. Uh, my digestive is not good. My blood circulation is not good also. So, Mr. Yen uh, suggests to change my lifestyle, eat uh, warm food, a uh, little bit exercise and yeah I follow the instruction step by step three months uh -huh. <laughs> I'm pregnant <laughs> I'm so happy I'm so happy that's incredible Im amazing uh, thanks God for that and thank also for, to Mr. Yen and all of the stuff uh, in my age, usually it's not easy. My age almost 40 years old. It's not easy to get pregnant. It just uh, makes me so happy. And uh, I have a baby boy. And my suggestion to everybody, acupuncture, it doesn't hurt. Make you feel fresh, more energy, and more power. Hey guys, Jimmy in here, the acupuncture guy with Achieve Integrative Health and to, we're bringing you another daily power tips so today's thursday so on tuesdays and thursdays we talk about treatments uh so treatment thursday today's treatment is thursday and i'm continuing on the list that lucy was um that uh, she you know she posted that she wanted me to talk about so this is the last of her list so uh if you want me to talk about another topic uh during treatments thursday uh just comment below and let me know and i will uh, go over it and whoever first come first serve all right guys so uh, the last thing on uh, Lucy's list was infertility how to treat infertility what do we do for infertility uh, but before we discuss that let's talk about what is infertility so what did I do I basically went on Google and went to the United States Department of Health and Human Services and I got some statistics for us some data okay so on this website they told us uh, fertility, infertility is defined as if you're less than 35 years old for women um, and you've had sex for one year and no protection, uh, no birth control, and you still can't, you still can't get pregnant, then then you're then they'll diagnose you as inf infertile. Okay, um, or if you're more than 35 years old, then it's unprotected sex for six months, then you'll be classified as infertile, right? Um, whether this is a great word or not, you know, that's up for a debate. But the, 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 the thing is that, you know, it's difficult getting pregnant, you know, after one year or six months, right? And also they stated that 10% of women um, suffer with infertility or the difficulty of having babies. And that's roughly 6.1 million people, actually 6.1 million women you know, have difficulty getting pregnant, right? And what is the cause? So they have found that a third, so 30% of um, couples not being able to have a baby is due to a woman issue. There's a, there's a health issue with the female, and a 30% is due to the male factor. So there's something going on with the male sperm, okay? The male, uh, um, 
the male factor in, in, in regards to fertility. So what do you do with this data, right? Um, what do you, it is, you know, it is true the younger you are, the more easier it is to, to conceive and have a successful pregnancy and have a baby. It does not mean though, if you're past 35 years old, that it's impossible. We've helped many women. Um, one of our oldest women was 49 years old and we were able to help her get pregnant. So not saying that you want to wait till 49 to get pregnant, but it is possible. Okay. Uh, so just because you're over 35, it does not mean you're over the hump. Um, it doesn't really mean much in, in our clinic. Uh, we don't look at the age when, when we help a woman, uh, when we're trying to determine if we can help someone. Age is a little of the factor, but it's not majority of the factor. The number one thing we look at, um, and this is how we help women get pregnant or couples get pregnant, regardless if it's a cause by the woman's health or the male, men's health, uh, the number one thing we look at is organ function. Okay, so this is the number one thing that we look for when we're helping people get pregnant. It's organ function. Um, you can say, you know, uh, when you go to a you know, gynecologist, you know, they're looking at you know, your ovarian reserve. Those tests are vital. You need to have those tests. They actually help us in determining which organs are dysfunctioning. It's not always your ovaries. It's, for women, it's not always your ovaries. It's not always uh, your uterus. Um, you know, there are other, every organ in your body is involved in pregnancy. And if you go to a Western medicine clinic and you're looking at fertility specialists, they're looking at your ovaries, they're looking at your uterus, they're looking at your, you know, your sex hormones. Um, some of them will look at your thyroid functions but then, and your pituitary. By looking at your sex hormones, they're, they're trying to see if there's a pituitary problem, okay? And so that's about it, and they stop right there. You know, but here's the thing. A lot of the time, remember, every organ is involved in fertility. So a lot of times in women, we find there's actually a liver dysfunction, right? And a kidney dysfunction or an adrenal dysfunction okay these are some of the common ones they're not it's not a hundred percent it's not all of it but these are the most common ones that we see in women you know in regards to organ dysfunction because you know but when you go to western medicine they don't really care about these for reproduction okay but three thousand years ago they found that the liver has a huge impact on regulating a woman's cycle. The kidneys and the adrenal glands, um, well actually science tells us now the adrenal glands, the adrenal glands are the only other organ in your body that actually can secrete sex hormones. So do you think they're important? You know, Should you be looking at them if you're trying to get pregnant? No, yes, you should, right? And so these two, the kidneys and the kidneys are very important and also with the hormone production, right? So this is 3,000 year old history. This is 3,000 year old data. Even though it's not technically you know, scientific data now, doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. And the fact that when we help these organs restore their function and the woman gets pregnant, proves over and over that it's not just about the reproductive organs, it's not just about your ovaries, it's not just about your uterus, it's not just about your pituitary, it's not just about your thyroid. Other organs play a function. Now the other organs like your spleen, your stomach, they can all come into play, okay? But I'm just giving you the top three that we commonly see in women when they, when they have a hard time uh, getting pregnant, okay? So men, it's the same thing, okay? Men, you gotta get the sperm analysis. You gotta know, you gotta know, um, let me just clear up some room so I can show. So blood test is vital when it comes to fertility, right? So when we're looking at sperm, you definitely wanna look for a sperm analysis. You wanna look for, you know, concentration. So I'll write this. Concentration, you gotta have enough sperm, right? You gotta enough, have enough troops in order to do the job. You ain't got enough troops, ain't gonna do the job, right? So next one is something called motility. If you got the troops, 
they got to be able to move, right? They got to be able to swim. If you got troops that can't swim, they're not going to be able to swim up the, you know, the uterus, the fallopian tubes, and fertilize the egg. So you got to have motility. So that's a key key factor, right? The third one is morphology. Morphology is the shape, the shape of the sperm. If the shape of the sperm is Sperm and eggs are like lock and key. If you don't have the right key, you're not going to unlock the egg, all right? So it fertilized. So the, more the shape of the, the sperm head is vital, right? All of this is very important. But is it the only information that you need in order to get pregnant? No, because we, again, you know, I wrote over, I, I said a while ago, the number one thing we look for is organ function. If your organs are functioning, the reason why you are having the reason why it's you're having difficulties getting pregnant is because of organ function whether that's because of the woman or the male right you have to look at both it's not a woman only problem when you can't get pregnant right look it's equal one third thirty percent woman thirty percent men there's a genetic component right but there's you know it's equal equal cause so you have to look at both the husband and and, and the wife a lot of times, you know, we automatically assume it's just a woman's problem. It's not. Okay, so stop blaming the women. Okay, men, you gotta step up. Take home, You gotta take responsibility, right? You gotta. You have to improve your health. It takes two to have a baby. You can't have a baby with just one person. Okay, it takes two to tango. So you got to have healthy husband and wife. If you one of them are not healthy, there's that's going to affect your fertility. Okay. And even if you get pregnant, that will affect the genetics of your child and possible any type of genetic diseases or actually any type of other type of disorders that your child may have when you get pregnant and you have and you deliver. So it doesn't matter, it's not just about getting pregnant, it's about getting pregnant with a healthy child. That's the key. And it all starts with the beginning, the organ function of your of the husband and wife. Okay? So that's what we do in our clinic, and that's how we're super successful in helping women helping couples get pregnant, is we restore function. We first find which organs are dysfunctioning and we help them restore their function. And I always have to say, you know, I'm gonna steal a quote from one of my, uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Kirsten Karchmer, who is also a fertility uh, acupuncture specialist. You know, she said, we don't help people get pregnant, right? It's kind of weird, right? People come for us for, for help with pregnancy, but I'm telling them we, don't help them, we don't help you get pregnant, right? What we do is we help you put yourself in the right condition and we remove the barriers that are preventing you from getting pregnant. That's what we do. And what are those barriers? Organ dysfunction, right? And what is the perfect environment? Nutrition, right? We help you with that nutrition and we help you restore organ function so it removes the barrier to, to, for you to get pregnant, okay? But we don't, get, we don't help you get pregnant, if that makes any sense. All right, guys? Um, I can go on and on for this about what we do exactly, but this is kind of the gist of what we do to help people get pregnant. So whether you know you choose to come to our clinic or you choose to you know not to do any other uh, other types of rep um, assisted reproductive technology or whatever you want to do to help to try to get pregnant, um, you know one thing that I want you to take away is is your focus on restoring organ function. If it is the higher a chance you will have in getting pregnant, but more importantly, when you do get pregnant and you conceive and you deliver, that you will have a healthy baby. I think that's more important, right, than just getting pregnant. So the key is restoring organ function. If you're not doing, a lot of these ARTs, they're creating a lot of problems in creating babies. Yes, they're, they're giving you the, the gift of having a baby, but also at the same time, it's creating a lot of health issues for your babies. So you got to think about that when you're when you're choosing to do those, you know, the IVFs, you know, um, mainly the IVFs, right? You're 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 messing with Mother Nature. So the result, it's like you're going, it basically you're you're going to a petri dish and you're creating a baby. Well, guess what's going to happen? That's not natural, right? Uh, so you have to be, you have to have that right expectations. I'm not saying don't do those. I'm saying you got to have that right expectations. There's a good chance later on your kid's gonna have some, some, some health issues because they were born in a Petri dish, okay? But either way, you can still do the IVF, 
but still restore organ function and decrease that chance of, you know, or increase the chance of your baby being healthy uh, mentally and physically. All right, guys, um, have any, if you have any questions, if you want me to talk about a different topic, uh, post below, comment below, like, share this post, and um, yeah, let me know, because Tuesdays and Thursdays, we talk about treatments. All right, guys, Jimmy Yen from Achieve Integrative Health. Uh, remember, always, everything in life is achievable, even making babies.